Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, one, happy holidays, and two, my name's Annie. Today, we're actually gonna be doing something that I love to do during the holidays, and it is a red lip. I love a red lip, but everyone seems to still do their eyeshadow when it's like you gotta choose your eyes or your lips. And today, we have chosen to do our lips. First and foremost, before we even get started, everyone, you need this or make this at home. It's a sugar scrub. My favorite one is the bubblegum one by Lush. Oh my God, it's basically just like bubblegum sugar. You rub it all over your lips and you don't even need to wipe it off. You just go, mm -mm -mm, and it's done. First of all, it's 11 degrees outside, so it is so stinking cold here in Denver. Okay, when we do a red lip, we wanna stay pretty natural and glowy. I don't wanna say shimmery or highlightery. I like to just say really glowy. So I always take my favorite foundation, one pump only, and I use this Becca Backlight Primer. I talk about it in so many of my videos. Basically, it just gives you an illumination, like a glow within. So that's what we have on right now, and then I have a little under eye concealer. You wanna brighten things up without getting too bright. So this Laura Mercier, it's not the translucent, powder it's their brightening powder for under your eyes it's a small container and a little bit goes a long ways um, you don't want to do too much because if you're gonna take photos it'll be like a flashback but it's really really nice to give dimension to your face if you use a little bit and now let's get on uh, to the face and the eyes bronzer I mean, if you're gonna do a red lip, sweetheart, you gotta do bronzer. My favorite bronzer is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I do the medium deep. I really wanna try like the deep, deep one, but we shall see. I'm not that tan right now. Now I'm not contouring, although I already contoured my nose a little bit. I am hitting all the spots the sun would get me, which I love a bronze temple. I love a bronze temple. It just, it definitely makes you look the most beach kissed, if you will, or sun kissed, like you just went to the beach, which I'm all about. I broke out right here and I'm so upset about it. Okay. Blend, blend, blend. Always get your jawline to chisel it out and then bring it down to your neck. But when you're in a turtleneck, who cares? Okay, yeah. Now I want to keep my eyes nice and subtle, but still have definition. I love this stuff, you guys. It's called Color Tattoo Eyeshadow 24 Hour Wear by, is this Maybelline? Maybelline. So it comes in like a little paint pot like this, and this is the bronze, bad to the bronze. I've actually used this in another video, but this is just a paint pot, like MAC paint pots. And I just dab this over the center of my lid. And I don't use too much, I just cover my lid. Now you have that smooth on all over your lid, I'm taking the same bronzer and a big, dense, fluffy brush. This one is the Morphe brush M504. You can get the entire Jaclyn Hill brush kit, which has every brush known to man that you need. I love that. It's like a hundred something dollars. Well worth it because it has literally every brush. But this brush is a key blending brush. Again, the M504. So now I just go into my crease with a little bit of that bronzer just to bring everything all together. And really what I'm doing is deepening up that crease but blending out that eyeshadow, that cream shadow, into my crease, making it nice and subtle. That way everything looks seamless. Oh my God, my eyebrow is crazy right now. So for the next part of my eye, I never do liner on the bottom. I only do it on the top. And before we do the top liner, I like to use this Morphe E17 brush. It's pretty, tightly packed and smaller, obviously, because we're only doing the bottom of our lid. I take the same bronzer and I just buff out the bottom of my eye into the top of my crease shadow, if you will, like right out to the outer corner and make it really smoky and cat eye. So everything meets together, everything blends together. 
Now this is makeup I do for on air. Like when I want to wear a red lip, this is what I do. We're going to now do the top liner, which I use the Milani Black Gel Liner in Classic Black. Yes, this is Milani. I used to use the Maybelline one and I know everyone's like, oh my God, the Maybelline Gel Liner is so amazing. I know, I like it too, but am I sitting on all my brushes? Man, I'm sitting on another brush. <laughs> um, but I just like this Milani one. I feel like it's a little bit nicer and not so glossy. I feel like the Maybelline one is a little too glossy. All right, here we go. Okay, y'all, so I did my eyes, my liner. Next up, a little blush. I love blush. I mean, if I don't have blush on, I feel like my makeup is not complete. But I have a trick to doing my blush. So I take Prism, which is a pretty, I would just say like skin tone color almost. It has like a little bit of a peachy pink, but it's more of just your skin tone. And I use it only the tops of my cheeks. It's almost like I'm blending the bronzer and the blush together. Now I'm taking Mocha, which is more of like a pink. I've been using this color so long. It's more of like a rosy pink by MAC. Oh my God, I love this color. I've literally been using this since I worked in Texas, which was like five years ago. And now just a little smile to hit the apples of your cheek. I am now putting on my eyebrows. I got my eyebrows done today, which feels like really nice. Using the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Soft Brown. I don't really add thickness to my brows, but I definitely do elongate them because my tails are just not as long as I want them to be. I'm not a brow person like everyone is these days. I've always had really arched brows since I was little. That's what happens when you have a unibrow at the age of 10 and you get your eyebrows done. So I've always had like very arched eyebrows, which a lot of people think, oh my God, do you pencil them in? And it's like, no, I've just had really arched eyebrows. So got that done, got my little eyebrow gel. Hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas. I got the flu, which if you watched the vlog, you saw that at the very end. It was not fun getting the flu. Let me tell you. Taught two spin classes today back to back, so I feel like I'm back. Not better than ever, believe me, I felt it, but back. Curling my eyelashes, very important. I don't understand how you can put mascara on and not curl your lashes. Makes such a difference. And now my favorite mascara, the Voluminous Lash Paradise, the pink bottle by L'Oreal. I've been using this before everyone else talked about it. I always like to say that. Now it's time for the red lip. But this is what it looks like so far, really natural. And the only thing that makes it look super smoky is actually my mascara. But everything's very blended. Everything really like melts into one another. So each year, MAC Cosmetics comes out with a holiday red lip. And it's a variation on like all their reds that look holiday throughout the year. Last year I got this one, but I know each year they come out with it and they still have them. So this one was from last year and it's called Hooray for Holiday. And it came with a gloss, it came with a lipstick, and it came with a lip liner. And the lip liner is Kiss Me Quick. The trick is to keep this lasting all day long is the pencil. Why I love MAC's bef other than everybody else's, MAC makeup was made originally for on-air makeup, whether it's magazines or like TV, like it was made to be sh photographed. So that's why I love when I'm going for something that I know will last a long time on my face when I'm under bright lights or at a party or something, I always go for MAC stuff. That's why I love their lip liners, I love their glosses. So let's do this, kiss me quick, all over. Now normally I overline my lips a lot, but I don't with red lips.
And remember, you're lining them and you're filling them in. I have like a pretty decent Cupid's bow, but I don't like to enhance that. I actually like to almost close that off and go across and make my lips more rounded than pointed. Now on to the lipstick, and this is again, hooray for holiday, but again, it's just the red lip. Also, is it called Pixie Woo? Is it Pixie Woo? Something Woo by MAC is a really good red. Now I just stick this over the liner. Staying inwards toward my lip, not really out. Faith Hill loves a red lip. Then I add the gloss on. You can always just do a clear gloss, but I actually got a gloss with this kit and I'll show you the difference. Here's the gloss. love this look during the holidays even through Thanksgiving because I know Christmas is done but New Year's is this week and I'm just really excited so I will see you guys next year see what I did there enjoy and have fun with the lip colors I love them they make them so much fun and if you like this give it a thumbs up also subscribe because more videos to come in 2019